Now, a rice correspondent, Shaito Atigari, has been on the streets of Lagos uh, monitoring the operation Clean Up Lagos, the aftermath of the NSARS protest. Here, she will be speaking to some officials of the Lagos State Waste Management Agency, LOMA, as they embark on the cleaning exercise. Hello, Shaito. Uh, can you tell us what is happening where you are at the moment? Hi, Nii. Well, we have been monitoring the Loma cleanup here at the Lekki Phase 1 toll gate. As you can see, we've moved further down towards the uh, Lekki first roundabout because the cleanup there has actually is, is over at this point. So you can see a lot of the Loma officials just behind me. They are still cleaning up. It's been, it's, they've been here for a very long time, since about 9 a.m. this morning. They've been cleaning up. I've had a chance to speak to some of the officials off camera. However, one of the officials did tell me that they will not be speaking to the press right now because of a circular that went round until they're giving permission to do so. But the general feel of the place, as you can see behind me, traffic is moving smoothly. The toll gate has been opened up. There's also some, some security officials at the toll gates, just making sure that there's a peace and harmony. And I'm sure you're wondering why I refer to that. Late last night, there was a, on social media, there was a push for the Nigerian youth, of course, to come out to clean up uh, Lagos State, but by about 1 a.m. another secular went on, on social media basically saying that Loma has taken full responsibility for the cleanup and they will be going into all the parts of Lagos State that were affected by the violence that took uh, that, that uprooted from the, uh, the protest and the shootings on Tuesday. I mean driving up here, it did give me a little bit of chills because I haven't been back here since Tuesday night where the, uh, the, the fatalities occurred but as you can see, things are slowly returning back to normal. There's traffic flowing and at last my officials doing, sorry, Loma officials doing their work and just cleaning up Lagos State. Mm, impressive work there by the Loma uh, cleanup um, people there. Well, I did hear last night about the hashtag clean up Lagos by the youths. I also heard about the counter initiative, which said, um, we're not going to clean up Lagos anymore because they said the cleanups were disguised um, protests. Um, well, it is good that um, we see what is happening at Lekki there. But I wonder where else in Lagos you have been to. Driving to work this morning on a coal bridge, um, there were broken bottles on the bridge. I wonder if you've um, gone that way and these broken bottles were there since yesterday. So I wonder where else you've been to in Lagos. Okay, so making our way down from our lower road, we did come through Ozumba Mbadi way. That entire place has been cleaned up. Making our way down to Lekki Phase 1 toll gate and down. From here, we are going to Circle Mall, which we know was heavily destroyed. I mean, you saw, I'm sure you've seen the videos and images. It was really bad. I've spoken to some of the Loma officials and they have sent some people down there. So from here, we'll be going there to see what, what, the, da what the damage was like and of course, what the cleanup effort has been like. And also, we've been into Lekki Phase 1. I'm sure you've seen some of the drone footage. Just being in Lekki Phase 1, we're seeing even some individuals, some private individuals, even though they have said Loma is going to be taking care of it, who have come out to make sure that their own environments are clean. And of course, um, small and medium businesses who were affected by the violence that erupted from Tuesday up until now are doing their best to clean up the space as much as they can. Now, do you have any idea how long this uh, uh, cleanup will last? Yeah. Well, I did ask one of the uh, Loma officials and he said it's as long as it takes. The damage, the destruction is a lot. Even down on just on this stretch, they've been here since this morning. It's almost one o'clock now and they are not even halfway done. I mean, and also I spoke to some of the workers. They would have at some point to take a break, you know, to go have something to eat and then return. So for as far as this stretch, they've been able to, to uh, clean it from the Lekki Phase 1 toll gate up onto the Lekki phase one roundabout that leads into Lekki Pen uh, Peninsula one. So that's what they've been able to do so far. But they, let's not forget that they are in groups scattered around Lagos State. So this is just for the, uh, the, the Loma officials that are at the Lekki uh, phase one target, which was ground zero for the protests that erupted in the city. And Shaiton, has this cleanup created any um, diversion of uh, traffic, would you say? 
I mean, the traffic has been very smooth because the toll gates, of course, because of the damage at the toll gates, there are no officials there collecting any money or any toll whatsoever. So the traffic has really been smooth because it's open. Three lanes are open on this side and three lanes are opening open for those going back into VI. So traffic is definitely coming very smoothly. There's no traffic whatsoever. If you look behind me, you can see cars moving freely. You can see public transport moving freely. People moving, probably people that have been stuck in their homes, uh, they have this, this time now between 8 a.m. Mm. and 6 p.m. as the curfew is being uh, reduced gradually by Lagos State to move around and do what they need to do, run their errands. And that you, as you can see, the traffic is moving very smoothly. And and still talking about the curfew, is, will this be any hindrance to the cleanup effort so far? No, uh, according to what, what they've told me, it, it, won't, it won't be a problem. I mean, at this point, they can be uh, regarded as essential services. For things to go back to normal on Monday morning, they have to continue to clean Lagos State as, as, uh, in shifts as often as they can. So that's what they're going to be doing all day today, all day tomorrow, and who knows, maybe Monday. Mm. Shaito Atikari, a rice correspondent, giving us um, updates on the Clean Up Lagos initiative. Many thanks. Uh, keep safe. Mm.